Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. This video is going to be an introductory video to the central nervous system lectures. In this video, I am going to discuss about the index of the central nervous system lectures. So, whenever you talk about nervous system, it is basically divided into central nervous system, peripheral nervous system and autonomic nervous system. This series of lectures is going to be on the central nervous system and we are going to see it in a particular sequence which I am going to discuss it today. So, the index for the CNS lectures will be, it is basically divided into three parts, the sensory system, the motor system and the higher functions. What do we mean by sensory system? The sensation from the periphery are going to be carried into the central nervous system. So, we will start from the receptors and go to the cortex. The sensory receptors will be the first part and out of the sensory receptors, the nausea receptors or the pain receptors will be discussed in detail and the proprioceptors will be discussed in detail. From them, the ascending tracks are going to carry them. So, we are going to discuss the ascending tracks and there is one very important relay station for most of the ascending tract that is the thalamus which will be discussed and finally, these sensations are going to reach into the somatosensory cortex and we will be also discussing about the laws in sensory physiology. So, all these lectures will be covered under the sensory system then followed by that the motor system. The motor process actually starts from the brain planning and finally comes to the periphery. So, our discussion will start with the motor cortex followed by the descending tracts and the most important thing the difference between decorticate and decerebrate rigidity, then the spinal reflexes, then another most important topic that is the upper motor neuron lesion and lower motor neuron lesion differences. Then there are two other organs which are involved in the control of the motor activity that is the basal ganglion and cerebellum. Then coming to the higher functions, the cerebral cortex is involved in the higher functions. So, it will be discussed first along with the lobes of the brain, then the limbic system, then hypothalamus. These two has a special features which will be involved in the higher functions also. Then coming to the EEG which is electroencephalogram and followed by sleep discussion, then learning and memory, then language and speech. I would request you all to go in a similar order that is given in this index because there will be a touch of the previous lecture and it will be easy for you to understand the upcoming and following lectures. I hope to have a great time with you guys. Thank you for listening to this video. We will see in the upcoming lecture videos. Thank you so much.